It's the Donuts Awesome Map Network. It's the it's the Awesome Map Network. Network, yeah, yeah. Math Network. Welcome back to the Mr. Donuts Awesome Math Network. Today we'll be discussing combining like terms. Before we can do that, we need to know what's a term. Term can have a few parts to it. You have what's uh, called the coefficient, fancy way of saying the number that's being multiplied to the next part of a term, the variable. And then last but not least, some of our terms can have an exponent, which is a number that the base is being raised to. Okay. In order for a term to be able to be combined, it has to have a common variable and exponent in certain instances, which we'll see in a moment. In this example, we have 5x plus 3x plus 2y. Now, because the 5x and the 3x have the same variable of x, we can combine them. 5 plus 3 is 8 which means 5x plus 3x is 8x. We don't have any other terms that have the variable of y. So all we're going to do is bring down that 2y. And what we've done is simplified our expression. We haven't solved it. There's no equal sign. We're just simplifying it by combining like terms. And we're left with the term 8x plus 2y. Now in this example, we have three terms that seem like they might all be able to be combined. Here we have x again. We have 5x plus 3x. However, this last term isn't 2x. It's 2x cubed, 2x to the third power. Because of that, it's not considered a like term to the first instance of 5x and 3x. So 5x plus 3x is once again going to give us 8x. And we're going to bring down the term of 2x to the third power. And that's it. We've simplified it as far as we can. This last example, we have a lot of terms. Now, because there's so many terms, I'm going to show you a strategy on what you can do to combine or ensure that you're combining the correct like terms. I'm going to start with this 4y. And I'm going to ask myself, are there any other instances where I see the variable y without an exponent? And I'm going to underline those instances. I got 4y and I got 2y. Cool. 4y plus 2y is 6y. Then I have x. I'm going to ask myself, do I see any other instances with the variable of x? I have 3x, and now they have 2x. I'm going to circle them. 3x plus 2x is 5x. Now here I have taken care of the y and the x, and I have 5x to the second power. There's no other instances where I have that. If I had, I may have used a different shape, like a square or a triangle. I'm gonna bring down this 5x to the second power, taking care of it. And then I'm left with this 3w that's kind of just hanging out on its own. This is the last or the very last way I could simplify this term. That kind of came out wrong, but what I meant to say is this is this initial term has been simplified to be 6y plus 5x plus 5x to the second power plus 3y. It cannot be simplified anymore. And that's how you combine like terms. It's the Donuts Awesome Map Network. It's the, it's the Awesome Map Network. Network, yeah, yeah. Map Network.